heavy silver, the lifeblood of interstellar travel and by far the most valuable substance in the galaxy. This ultra-dense element is forged only by the mightiest of celestial events in the hearts of dying supergiant stars or by the collision of neutron stars or white dwarves. These hypernovae events are the only phenomena with enough energy and power to fuse already dense elements such as uranium and plutonium, catapulting them into the so-called island of stability. This island of stability results in atoms that are far denser than even the heaviest of lab-made isotopes. Heavy silver, which has an atomic number of 126, has a nucleus which contains 184 neutrons, making it far and away the heaviest element yet discovered by humanity. When heavy silver was first discovered, so named for its luster and ability to be polished into a high sheen, it was thought of as little more than a curiosity. As humanity began exploring the stars in the late 21st century, spectroscopic surveys in new solar systems detected traces of this element. However, the true power of heavy silver was not unlocked for nearly 200 years. With only a few milligrams of the exceedingly rare substance available, ancient scientists back on old Earth began performing experiments on heavy silver. At first, they marveled at the isotope's robustness and stability. However, when exposed to extremely high energy particle streams, such as those generated by nuclear fusion reactors, it was discovered that heavy silver had the ability to transmute excess energy into antimatter with relative ease and efficiency. This is significant because antimatter, when combined with ordinary matter, reacts intensely. The two inverse substances annihilate each other, releasing all of their sequestered energy in one cataclysmic blast. This new technology was quickly weaponized and locked away. The first heavy silver wars threatened to shatter humanity. It had been presumed that, as humanity metastasized and spread across the galaxy, that the fate of our species would become secured. However, the discovery of heavy silver's unique abilities and the subsequent weaponization of antimatter technology once again gave humanity the power to utterly obliterate itself. Fortunately, heavy silver remained scarce enough to pose only an outside risk, but now the race was on. Every faction and planet scrambled to harvest as much of the destructive element from space as they could get their hands on. The spectre of apocalypse was more than enough to instigate countless skirmishes. Millions died and billions suffered. A breakthrough came after little more than a century of interstellar warfare, a new hope for humanity. Scientists and engineers discovered that heavy silver could be used as a fuel for interstellar travel. These new engines, dubbed Geonotti Gates, after the esteemed particle physicist from Old Earth Fabiola Geonotti, harnessed the power of heavy silver to tear spacefaring vessels from the fabric of reality and hurl them vast distances across the cosmos. These early gates allowed instantaneous travel up to several hundred light years in a one-way trip that many now dared to take. The expansion of humanity across the stars could now outpace the speed of light, and so many worlds were settled in the dark, in the far-flung reaches of the Orion Spur, our little corner of the Perseus arm of the Milky Way galaxy. Humanity was once again safe from itself. This diaspora occurred in the mid-24th century, Despite this technological windfall, the creation of the heavy silver-powered jump gates did not end war and interstellar conflict for good. Fertile new planets were discovered and settled. The most bountiful of them were called Bastion Worlds. Bastion Worlds, some more hospitable and resource-rich than even old Earth, the cradle of humanity, became the epicenters of new stellar empires most notably the planet Sylvanium Viridium, 
became the seat of power for the Silver Empire. But this is a story for another time. Thank you.